All right, so a bunch of you follow me on, on Instagram anyway, so you probably know why I'm at Discount Tire. We had walked out from Walmart yesterday and just the tire was done. <laughs> Pancaked, flat, like not even a flat tire that you could drive on, like it was just done. Total fiasco, trials and tribulations of Hogue, like had to go over to Home Depot, ended up getting like wire cutters and I had to cut the spare tire off of the little uh, like bracket winch that pulls it up under the truck. There's an adapter piece that slides back that you, you know, stick the extension from the jack in to rotate the tire and lower it. That piece came out. So my truck's, my truck's a 2006, it's 14 years old. And in the most 2020 fashion, of course, that piece was missing. So I couldn't lower a spare tire to change my tire. So I had to go cut it. So I got to order a new one of those later on when I get home. I got to remember that. Um, but you'll also know, I was crying the other night. Crying the other night because the Dodgers won the World Series. 88, I was six years old. And that was the first time I got introduced to the Dodgers was in 88. My grandpa turned it on. He was watching the game. Not a huge Dodger fan, but I mean, he was like a, he's, he would watch a football game here or there. He'd, you know, he'd watch sports. And, and that's kind of how I got introduced to the Dodgers initially. Uh, I never played baseball as a kid and stuff, but it was just one of those things like I loved was just the vibe that the Dodgers gave off in Southern California. And it just, I don't know, got an attachment to it and, I mean, the past decade, probably, I mean, you can ask Babs, like bringing Babs into it, like she's even gotten attached to it. The kids have gotten attached to it. Like, it's just a different feeling. And I know it's wild because it's a bunch of overpaid athletes, you know, playing the game. But I don't know, it's just something that's cool, it brings people together and just, I don't know, it's a lot of fun and it means a lot. And I was crying the other day and I was just so excited. Like, I'm, I get emotional right now. Like, I feel like it. Like, I'm just so excited right now. Um, 2020 the back half of 2020 is been so exciting for me like i'm just as down debbie downer as you want to call the rest of 2020 like the back half of 2020 for me i would not change a thing it has been fantastic from the lakers winning a championship from the dodgers winning a championship which was crazy because lakers won their 17th dodgers won their seventh someone posted 17 plus 7 equals 24 24 kobe bryant rest in peace that is just weird how that works out but uh that's another thing like winning the winning the championship for vin for tommy for kobe like it just i don't know it's just so cool i'm just like on cloud nine right now this whole week until i got the flat tire so at discount tires right now trying to get this thing repaired So we haven't been on here in a while, but I figured with only five days left until the election, talk about how we're voting in Tennessee since leaving California, since that seems to be a big topic for everybody on here. I'm sure most of y'all can guess, but uh, we'll lay it down anyways. And I think, I think I might disable comments. I've never been a fan of disabling comments, but I think I, think I might do it on this video. And it's not so much because I don't want to hear it or I can't take it. It's no problem to me. I've got a lot of good followers on here and uh, it's a good community and I don't like seeing them go to war with, you know, trolls and stuff that come along here and just don't agree with the channel or just are stumbling through. Um, so that's, that's, I don't know, it's been kind of bugging me seeing that and, and I appreciate that they do that but we don't need any more negativity in our lives and I don't want to bring any more to anybody so this might be one of those videos, might work out, we'll see. How rad are these? Buddy Ryan had these etched for us when we were doing the Soccer Dad radio podcast. Such a cool looking bottle, right? We need to get some Fred's Roast ones going. So that's a good sign. They're repairing it and rotating the tires. I didn't think they'd be able to do it maybe because of the gas, but it's a good sign. Happy. So Zeta is kind of making its way out of here. It's just like a light drizzle right now, nothing much. We got a little bit over an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches. Uh, it wasn't a lot. It looks like it ducked a little bit more south of us, so we didn't get, get what we thought we would. They said almost three to four inches, which would have been a lot of water, but two inches is plenty. Like, poor Macy, her little area outside is soaked. 
so she's actually inside. But today is the last day to vote in Tennessee in person. If you're gonna do early voting, today is the last day to do it. I think there's about six areas in our local area in Blunt County where you could do the early voting. We are not doing the early voting because I believe in doing it on election day. The first couple of days, they were out of control. Last few days, hasn't been that bad. They said with early voting, they've almost had two million people show up and cast their vote, either in early voting or mail-in voting. And I think back in 2016, they only had like 1.6, 1.7 total. So we're not even there yet, but that's a lot of people to turn out voting, breaking all kinds of records in Tennessee. You can't patch it, right? Obviously. Right, so that one we couldn't cool. take care of. Yep. yep, got it. Thanks. All right, so we couldn't, couldn't patch the tire, which I didn't think we could. It was a huge gash. It's gotta come back Monday, but that's all right. to get working on this. Weddings are done. Weddings weddings are edited out, no more booked. I purposely don't do anything in November, December. It's family time to me, I think. So uh, more on that. We'll catch up on that later. But uh, yeah, so voting, right? Voting in Tennessee. That's probably one of the biggest things. The biggest comments on any of these videos having to do with California or moving to Tennessee is, um, yeah, leave your California mindset there. Leave your liberal ideologies there. Lib, lib this, lib that all that stuff, right? So I thought it'd be good, like, you know, we'll, we'll share it. Like, I'm, I'm fine sharing it. Like, I don't care if y'all know who I vote for or what I do with my life, because it's my life, it's it's what I do. I think voting information should be public. Like, I think everybody's info should be public because because I promise you, there are a lot of people that are checking boxes and voting and, you know, saying one thing and not doing the other, you know, not showing their full hand of cards. <laughs> I have a feeling that's going on. Voting should be public. We should know what y'all do. All right, forget that. It is, it is too beautiful out here. We're coming, come back outside. Look at fall. Look at fall in Tennessee. Uh, I guess we got some leaves to pick up here. All right, this works. We're gonna sit right here. We haven't used this table in forever since I took down the gazebo. Look at that backdrop. I wanna show off Tennessee because it's so beautiful. There we go. All right, so yeah, look at that. I hope this comes across okay because of the wind. I might have to chop it up. What's up, Binks? Oh, you want to say hi to the camera? Okay. Hi. Hi. How you doing? You just out here enjoying this Tennessee weather? Oh, yes, you are. All right. So, anyways, yeah. I can just sit out here. I sit out here all day and just enjoy this. All right, but enough of that. Let's cut to the chase, right? Donald Trump, right? That was an easy choice. Easy choice for me. I voted for him in 2016. We'll vote for him again in 2020. If you're a follower of this channel, a subscriber, and you watch the videos, it's probably not a surprise to you, right? You kind of know where I align, where my beliefs are, what, you know, my attitude around life. So that's no surprise. Um, but the biggest thing, the biggest thing for me um, is, is war, right? Um, and, Donald Trump has done done some big things with bringing troops home from Afghanistan and other places where we don't need to be. War is an interesting thing. It's a money maker. It's a power thing. It's it's a lot of stuff. Um, but it's one of those things that I have trouble agreeing with and, and backing when we have so many issues here at home. Much like us leaving California to come to Tennessee, my priority was my family and bettering us and bettering us as people, bettering our condition, bettering our, our outlook, all that. I think that's the same approach. Like until we can better our country and, and get everything on track and get going, like we have no business being anywhere else unless we absolutely have to be, right? You, If you think about like, there's kids that were born when we were attacked on September 11th in 2001 that are now fighting in Afghanistan, fighting in a endless purposeless war Pur purposeless is that a word fighting in, fighting in, in a war without purpose right there there's no point to be there um and 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 these last few like times we've gotten involved with conflict in the middle east there's no exit strategy like there's no plan there's no hey we're gonna go and do this do this 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 check all these boxes and then we're out like no we're just going in just to disrupt stuff and i don't it's so far over my head probably i don't understand a lot of it but i know the military industrial complex you hear that a lot and there's a lot of money involved and tax dollars and just who knows what goes on right who knows but that is that's a big thing to me is the amount of, of disrespect and ignoring that veterans get and 
and service members get to go across the seas and are fighting for us to be able to hold signs and 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 protest and voice our opinions and document things and video and photograph whatever we want because we have those rights um it just blows my mind that we don't back them right so i'm i'm always for whatever is going to help service personnel and veterans um that's that's a big deal to me right and that's that's kind of where trump secured secured my vote but it's funny when they say you know check your check your liberal mindset at the border the reason i left california is because i don't have a liberal mindset like i don't want to be there like i've seen it go from here to here fast right especially since the girls have been born like homelessness taxes all this like it's insane like san francisco i wouldn't I, I have no desire to go back to san francisco one of the most beautiful city skylines you'd ever see, you've ever seen so much cool stuff there no desire to ever set foot again it is so disgusting just reeks of pee uh just needles everywhere just the worst experience our last trip there never need to go back uh but that that's kind of becoming the case for many cities right um so there is no way i would bring that liberal mindset or california mindset with me to tennessee my mindset is is you know going to be my mindset you know where my beliefs and my morals are at right i like to think that i i'm an ethical person you know and that's where i fall i believe heavily in the constitution um and that's kind of where i side and it's interesting because like as far as like media goes like it's an onslaught of social media right you are just you're just knee deep in blah of political junk right and that's why there i think i know that's why there's so much divide in this country and i think my favorite part right now my favorite line that i hear is times of uncertainty we're in great times of uncertainty right now right that's what everyone throws at you what what about life has ever been certain has anybody 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 had that because you could walk out the door right now and you get hit by a drunk driver and boom you're gone right you can get COVID, next thing you know, you're in the hospital by yourself, no family members around, you're gone. There's there's nothing certain about life. So that's the funniest tagline right now to me is these great times of uncertainty that they try to throw at you, right? Like to get you all feared and, and just worried about everything, right? It's never been certain. We've never had anything certain about life. And so again, going back to voting for Trump, I like the Constitution. You know, it's, it's a good thing right? It's a good thing to have. I, I really like the Constitution because you watch the rest of the world wish they had it, you know, and they see that they are not able to speak out against the government. They see they are not be able to protest in the streets. They can't burn down their cities. They can't loot. They can't riot. I mean, I guess it's okay here. I mean, I don't think it's okay, but obviously it's okay because it happens here, but I'm confused. I, I'm told it's for justice, but I won't figure it out. I don't know. But I'm not voting for Trump because I like Trump. Like, it's not like a, like, he's not going to be my friend. He's not my best friend. Like, I, I there's parts, uh, there's pieces I don't like about the guy, right? Sure. Everybody, you're not going to please everyone. This channel, like, I get people all the time. Like, they, the comments are hilarious. Like, I make content for me based on my life and my experiences and what's going on and I just share it. So it's it's not it's not a popularity contest for me. It's not, you know, what person I like better. It it goes strictly down to policy because if it was based on that then I would have voted for Obama because I liked Obama. Like he's just a classy dude. Like I just liked how he talked and just how he carried himself. Kind of had that image of a president, kind of what you think it might be. Trump doesn't have that image, but Trump's also not a politician. Trump is is raw and just kind of real and that's kind of refreshing in, in an odd way so especially like in a time like like now where where people don't want to say they're voting for trump because like if you say you're voting for biden there's no negative consequence to that but if you say you're voting for trump like are you kidding me like the backlash that you get the hate that you get the i mean you probably get i'm sure people will get fired from their job i've had people message me and they're like i can't say anything because of work i can't do this because of a family member blah, blah. Like, that's crazy to be handcuffed for your own thoughts and your own beliefs that you can't vote for who you want to run this country. And it's hilarious. I mean, even though, like, I vote for Trump, like, I'm not going to wear this hat around and force it down someone's throat. Like, I don't care that you know who I'm voting for. I'm not, I'm not going to do that to somebody. But we, 
I did buy this off Amazon because I thought it was hilarious. How's that for a coronavirus mask? It's pretty, pretty good, huh? If they had a Biden one, I'd probably buy a Biden one too because you could have a lot of fun with them. Anyways, oh shoot, we gotta go to school. Yeah, so I totally forgot. Like, y'all don't even know why I'm going to school right now. Pick up Taylor from school, and take her to the high school, and then she's gonna get on a bus with Mackenzie and the rest of the soccer team because the Maryville Rebel girls made it to state. They're headed to Middle Tennessee to Murfreesboro tonight. Uh, well, they will stay the night and then they will play their first game at 4.30 tomorrow. Uh, they got to play against Ravenwood. Ravenwood won the whole thing last year. Uh, so it's definitely going to be an uphill battle. But uh, the girls made it all the way to state. Like they won district championship. They won region championship. And now they're going to take a chance at state. Like it's so exciting. So we're going to go pick up Taylor, take her to the high school, get video of the girls doing the send off. They got a charter bus. Huge deal. Big deal. Oh, excited? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. The games were supposed to be yesterday, and if they won, they'd move on to today and play. But the fields were just destroyed. I'm glad they did it because there was so much water coming from Zeta anyways. Last year, they went on ahead and played. Uh, we went out there. They made it all the way to the semifinal, and the semifinal was a complete disaster. Yeah, they played in that, which is an absolute safety concern, just ridiculous. Like, a state tournament should have never been played in those conditions, so we were all excited when it did get postponed, thank goodness. So, they're getting on the bus right now, and they're going to head to Murfreesboro, and they're going to do some work. They're going to win. They're going to keep going. Huh? She doesn't care. She's a freshman. She's on varsity. She just loves life. Like, she's just loving it. <laughs> like, whatever. was that that is the coolest thing like I love that like they are headed to state they're headed to the state championships for Tennessee so awesome I'm so excited for them I'm so looking forward to these games the way 2020 is going with the championships so far we are looking good so I'm looking forward to Maryville getting the dub getting the championship oh dude you guys got to see the dude check this out okay whoa a little dark so check this out. So this is, this is so awesome. So I got this package the other day from the Smithers, the Smithers family, right? So they found this channel because they were researching options outside of California, like most people that find this channel. Uh, so they sent me a quick letter. Family found your videos when like many, we were researching options outside California. Really enjoyed seeing so much of Tennessee. It's on our short list of places to retire. Feel like when I get to retire, I get to just start living, right? And that's, that's a big thing. Like that's, I feel like that's such, that's such like the goal for so many people now is they wanna feel like they're living and just have a life and contribute and just give back and just do what they want to do and and the make the most of this life. Seemed to have similar values. Then he saw the vlog on the career choice, kinda of hit home with him. He's been a CHP officer for 21 years now. And like he said, he's enjoyed it, but it's not what it used to be much like California is not what it used to be. He goes on to say, trust me, you're serving your community in your own way, which was so awesome. Like, I love how he put that. And like, I'm just like emotional right now, like emotional wreck since the World Series and everything, my goodness. But please enjoy our favorite local coffee. This is awesome. Looking forward to grinding this up and trying this out. This is a local spot up there by them. It's a Christmas blend, just in time for the holidays. And, and, a real CHP patch and a little chippy. Dude, 
when I got this and I held this in my hand, like I got a little emotional because if, if you all know and you watch that, if you go back and you watch that video and, and a couple other videos, I talk about wanting to become a CHP officer and I, I went through the whole thing and it just, it, the timing didn't feel right and stuff didn't feel right and I've learned to trust my gut and not go with it. But I don't know, just, just receiving this official patch was so cool to me. And this is gonna go on my this is gonna go on my photo bag. This is gonna go with all my other patches. So I am so excited. Thank you so much for sending this out. I appreciate this more than you will ever know. But that is why that's why I like doing this and sharing it, because like I said, you will find your tribe. Like you have your people, you have the vote is not a, a popularity contest to me, right? It's a policy contest, you know? What what's the best policy? to put my family in a better spot, right? What's gonna work for me? What do I believe in? Um, it doesn't matter what somebody else believes in. Like, I don't care what a celebrity or an athlete or somebody tells me. Just because they have a platform doesn't mean they're right. Because oftentimes behind that platform, there's a little carrot dangling or something, right? Like I said, I have no brand equity here. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't care if I have unsubscribers now because I say I'm voting for Trump. That's fine. I mean, you don't want to be friends? That Okay, like, I'm kind of sad, but that's all right, if you gotta go, you gotta go, that's fine. But I have to be me. I'm gonna be truthful to myself, and that's why I'm here. Like, I just wanna be able to express myself and my thoughts and my feelings because I know there's people out there that identify with it. So that's really it. I mean, we don't need any more division in here. We don't, this country is like maxed out in division. Uh, we don't need any more left or right, blue or red, mask or no mask, Republican, Democrat, like whatever. Like. Somebody wants to vote, let them vote. That's it. Keep going on, carry on the next day. Go have a cup of coffee, enjoy yourself. Like there is so much more to be grateful for in this life. Like if you have a roof over your head and you have power and you have water and just some basic things, you're doing better than a lot of the world. A lot of the world. And I think a lot of times we forget that. I think a lot of times we forget that perspective, how good we have it here in America, in the best country of the world, right? We don't need any more division. That's simply that, like, like Diddy, really? Our black party. You're gonna start our black party. But y'all say there's such a problem with systematic racism right now and division, but we're gonna start an all black party. Hmm. I don't know, I'm lost on that one. I'm lost, Diddy, I'm lost. I know I'm not gonna be perfect, I know I've got flaws, I know I'm not gonna be everyone's favorite, I'm not gonna say the right thing all the time, but that's me, like, and I have to learn and, and uh, take my losses or, or take my weaknesses, move on from there, and hopefully keep growing, right? Uh, and that's all I can do is wake up with a good attitude in the morning, hit the day hard, and hope everything goes my way, and if it doesn't, so be it. We take it, we move on and, and learn, because there's always a lesson, no matter what. Even if you fail, if you lose, no matter what there is, there's always a lesson in there somewhere and a way to improve. Trump loses, no big deal. Guess what? I still wake up the next day and I keep doing me. Like I keep going, keep moving forward, trying to better myself, trying to better the community, trying to better the girls, trying to better everyone around me. Because a person sitting behind a desk in Washington DC does not dictate how my day goes. I dictate how my day goes. How I wake up in the morning is exactly how my day is gonna go. My attitude is a direct reflection of how my day goes. So the only thing I can do is focus on that and make sure that I keep a positive attitude and keep going forward and everything will work out. Like, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna throw a fit if Biden wins. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's gonna keep going. And I don't know. Going with logic over feelings. That's all I could say right now. Vote for policy. What's gonna be better for all of us? And right now, I think Trump is, that's it. Like, I'm sorry. Biden, it's the same story. I can predict exactly what you're gonna say tomorrow. Like, it's the same story. I can predict your social media posts. It's the same post over and over. We're gonna see, we got five days. All you can hope for is November 4th, you wake up, you're healthy, you're doing your thing, and that is it. So that is it from Tennessee, y'all. Keep your head up. I am gonna, oh, just smelling this through the bag. My goodness. I, Mace, you ready for some coffee? Y'all see, y'all haven't seen Macy in a while, huh? Mace, you say hi? They're getting so big, so big. Anyways, that is it from Tennessee, y'all. Go, go flex your vote, use your vote. Most of y'all are already made up. I can't imagine there's anyone on the fence right now, but just in case there is, who knows? I don't know. Talk to your friends, talk to your family. Don't be scared to do you. Vote for you based on your opinion, your thought, your feelings. That is it from Tennessee. That is how I'm voting. I didn't need to make this video, but it feels good, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Maybe we'll quiet some people.
That's it. We're out. Go Dodgers.